Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass XS and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review and today I'm using a different microphone again. See, this is one of the trends that you're gonna see here is that I'm always looking to make the sound experience better for you guys because I get annoying with bad microphones, I don't know. So, if this microphone sounds better than the previous microphone, this one, let me know. But this thing's always in my way, so I don't know, I might switch back and forth. <clears throat> so today we're doing the Red Meat Lover 2022 by DTT with Dumb Button Trust Company. So there you go. It's a really like rectangular box press, rough, rough, rough sandpaper like, well, you can call it velvety, I don't know, cigar. Um, let me get some information to here. Rubbers US Connecticut Broadleaf number one dark binder is Mexican San Andreas Oscuro. Now I already kind of can figure out what this tastes like because it's so everywhere, right? And the filler is Nicaraguan with US Pennsylvania League Hero. Uh, size is 6x52 Toro box press. And the MSRP is 1350. 1350. Let's see if we'll get 1350 out of this. 1350, all right? 1350. Yeah, 1350. It, it kind of does look like one of those, um, like a ham steak. Yeah, it's like a ham steak. It's like a jerky kind of steak that comes out. It's the, the, the way this is squared. I don't know. But we will get it together and test it out. This thing has a little bit of like a pigtail kind of thing going on. Smell kind of like sour and woodsy at the same time. Draw is, I think at the moment, acceptable. A little bit sour, leathery, and a little bit pepper on a dry draw. Red meat lover. Nothing wrong with loving red meat. I'm just like, what's wrong with white meat? I know you like cow, but chicken is not that bad either. Ooh, okay. Very, very strong. Dark, heavy taste. Peppery. Woodsy. Uh. A little bit of floral note. A little bit. Kind of like a, like a wild flower or like a lily kind of smell to it. Behind this kind of spicy taste to it, there is um, some sort of smoky taste. Which is kind of like, huh? You're smoking and you're telling me it's smoky taste? Yeah, it, it, it's hard to tell. Mm. 
<sighs> There's a little bit of chocolate in here too. And some sort of kind of hint of sweetness. I don't know. It's kind of weird because the, 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 the spice, the spiciness covers a lot of stuff, but it's trying to get out there somewhere. So I'll smoke for one third. <sighs> if this steak doesn't knock me out, we'll be back. Okay, now I'm back to this stupid microphone again because it's picking up more sound than I want it to be. So what does that mean? That means one third. So the cigar, full, full, full strength. I don't know why, but super strong, full strength. And now it's kind of dead. It didn't want to light really well. Um, it could be because I'm talking and smoking at the same time, but we'll relight it just while we're talking about this. Cigar's not bad. There is this uh, undertoning um, flavor that you can only smell when you're lighting it up. You can't taste it while you're smoking it. But strong cigar, not too bad. Woodsy, deep tone, espresso, chocolate kind of thing going on. The floral gets covered up. So it was soft and easy and all of a sudden, boom. It's all dark and strength and power. And yeah, you want a big meal for this one. You want a big, big, big meal to get this going. Um, yeah, and you want to smoke very, very slow. Now, that might be a positive to somebody, but it's definitely a negative to me because I like cigar that you can enjoy a lot better. I like cigar that you don't have to worry about the strength and not and you know getting sick of it and stuff like that. But this one, you will. You will. So yeah, you got to be very careful. I thought it's going to be a little bit easier because box press, just as strong. I can feel it. I can, this, this guy with the meat cliver, a freaking butcher, it's like putting a knife around my neck like that. It's like, hey, you want flavor? I'll give you flavor. I'll make Gordon Ramsay proud, you know, and then you're like, ah. mm. yeah, very dark taste. So we'll see. Some people might like this flavor. For me, it's a little bit too strong. A little bit too strong. Not crazy, but a little bit too strong. So we'll see. We'll come back in uh, two third. <laughs> um, one, uh, two third of the way, but look. It doesn't really want to burn, so. Which is nothing to be complained about because box price, this does happen quite often. But strength still full. If you want to smoke this, you better have some experience in smoking cigars because this is not something that you get. You just simply smoke and go, ah, whatever. So. It got a little bit more together of the flavor. And I got a little bit of like toasted peanut or something like that in there. Transition is almost non-noticeable, but you, see, you can still taste that flavor together. So it's not too bad. But I, my only complaint is the, is the flavor, is the strength. The strength is heavy, heavy. Got to be very, very, very slow. Very, very... I don't know, watching what you're doing kind of situation for you. It wouldn't be a relaxing cigar for me. It, it would be like, all right, I got to smoke very slow just to taste everything. Um, I don't particularly like that. So. $11 is where I can kind of justify this cigar because I, f I don't feel like the string plus the, the flavor justify the price range. It tastes like a really heavy cigar that are... Mm, not perfect. I don't know how to describe that. It's like you can go to Whole Foods and buy a slab of like, I don't know, T-bone steak for $40. But at the same time, you go to Stop and Shop buy a T-bone steak for $8. All 
right? And this one feels right in between, like something between a stop and shop and a Whole Foods kind of thing. And you bought it for ten or eleven dollar kind of thing because it's good, but it's not perfect. Whereas the other one is perfect, but it's expensive, or it's low end, cheap, but it tastes like two week old meat or something like that. I don't know. So it's right in between. It's not gotta be my favorite thing, and. There's nothing to talk about in packaging because I think this package is just paper. So there's there's no element that I can put in there to just say, hey, okay, I understand the price because of the packaging and all that stuff. It's just paper. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take a while to 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 finish this thing, but when I come back, finish this luster, we'll look at the band. We'll give you a final summary because. That's where we are right now. You're back. Okay, finished up. Now, few things I want to talk about. Number one, this cigar, very oily, a lot of smoke output. A lot of smoke output. So for those people who likes a lot of smoke output, this is it. Right. Number two, strong cigar. Number three, bold, strong, dark, almost closer to a bitter taste, but not actually really bitter. All right, it's not a unacceptable bitter taste. And and then not a cigar for everyone. If you're a beginner, if you're a medium smoker, you're probably not gonna like it. Dark, espresso, chocolate, woodsy, leathery at times, floral at times, earthy, barnyard at times. But all of those are just not very strong. Pepper went away after halfway. Well, that spice go away after halfway. So it became a really dark, heavy cigar. Um, if you're having a big meal like meat, steak, whatever, yeah, you might enjoy that. If you have a really strong drink to go with it, you might enjoy that. If you have a bourbon to go with it, you might enjoy that. But it's very specific. At least for me, it's very specific. That I, when I try to pair with water, didn't do anything. Pair of soda. Didn't do anything. Pair of bourbon. Okay, kind of pretty good uh, combination. Pair with latte. Bad choice. Very bad choice. Uh, pair with dark roasted black coffee. Actually, not bad. That little bit of acidic smokiness paired it well with this. Like I said, cigar specific. So. Ben, it kind of looks like a deli、um, store logo, <laughs> kind of. So I, I guess yeah, you can say that it's like a deli design, pretty cool, thought out. But would this make Gordon Ramsay proud? Gordon Ramsay, would you be proud of this? Probably not. Probably not, because I think that the way it goes is the more you you smoke this, the more one dimension you got. The more one dimension you got, and 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 it kind of got boring. It kind of got boring. It didn't surprise me or enjoyable because I have to tiptoe around this. You know, imagine walking by. Well, no,、uh, imagine this: you're eating steak in a steakhouse with a raging bull walking slowly, just stares at you, and then get to your table, girl. And you're like, not eating meat. It's okay. It's okay. I'm eating fish now. I'm eating fish now. Surf and turf, right? Surf and turf. Right? It's like that. You gotta be very careful because how strong it is. But it's very one dimension. You gotta tiptoe around it. I didn't feel that kind of enjoyment for this particular cigar because I had to tiptoe around it. So this is the reason why I think it's about a ten dollar cigar. 
10 or 11, 10, probably more 10 than 11. So that's where I think this cigar belongs to. That's where I think that, you know, why I would not probably pick out another one because it's it's not a happy cigar. It's not like, hey, I got to smoke another one. Okay, yeah, uh, two hours later, let's have another one. No, after this one, it's like, I never want to have that experience of staring at bowl down again. Have you seen those pair of balls? That balls are way bigger than mine. I'm not messing with it. That's kind of like that. So, yeah, that's it for the cigar review. I hope you enjoy it. I know there's going to be a little issue with this particular one with the sound because I tried to test out microphones and sit up and all that stuff. But bear with me. We'll figure it out eventually. Eventually, we'll find a good place for it. Right? So, and also, don't miss out on our podcast. We do have a podcast channel, Shadow Smokes Legion in the Shadow Podcast. You can pretty much find it everywhere. Right? Um, and that's it for the cigar review today. Make sure if you like it, like, subscribe, and comment. Talk about your experience, whether or not it's different than mine. Because, like, when we do this review, we, we, we're talking about in our personal experience, but not necessarily getting the other side of the experience. A lot of times, other comments might help us develop our opinions differently, right? Whether or not it's going to be, uh, I disagree with you, I had a good time with the cigar, or uh, I, I had the same experience with you, that cigar's too strong for me, that kind of stuff will help me uh, grow. Not grow to China, but grow in terms of understanding what people are thinking when they're smoking certain cigars. So, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one while um, I steer this cigar down and go apologize to that bowl later on. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.